Right here in post race in Atlanta with Austin Forkner. Um, man, two weeks in a row. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was really this night was really chaotic um, with the three motos, and I knew I just wanted I wanted to just be really consistent. That's why I wasn't really bummed after that first moto with a fourth. Um, I, I just wanted to get top five finishes, top three finishes every moto, and I figured that I, I could come out with a win even without winning a moto, which is what happened. So um, I just had to be consistent and make do with kind of what, what chaos did happen. Talk about uh, you caught another tough block again. Man, another one. Uh, I just jumped. It was pretty rutted. I just kind of got a little off balance, just jumped wide. I saw it coming, and I tried to, like, lean the bike and still caught, uh, caught it. Um, ripped my brake off uh, in the second moto, and that's why I, that's why I dropped. Uh, like I was feeling great, I wasn't tired. Uh, I was going fast, and then just did that. And then uh, 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 Zach was actually passing me, and, and we we hit, and uh, he went down. But Martin still caught and passed me on the last lap, so that that kind of sucked. But um, I mean, ended up being all right. I still got the overall, but I definitely made my life. If I would have won that moto. Um, I wouldn't have had to go so hard in that last one, but I mean, I got it done, so it's all right. So the pedal was gone, or just wrapped around, or backwards? Yeah, it was uh, way back, almost. It was basically right in front of the foot peg, uh, so it was pretty sketchy because I would just hit it at random times, just because I thought it felt like a foot peg. So I had to be careful, and then it was on there for about a lap and a half, and then it just there, it was gone. Like I went to hit it once, and I think it snapped off because, like, it, it was gone whenever I was done, and I. I didn't feel it anymore, so I was like, I just got to put it on salvage mode at this point. Like, without a rear brake, it definitely makes it tougher. You were talking about first time you've had a rutted Supercross track, and how bad were those whoops? They were, they, those were the probably the worst whoops I've ever ridden. Um, um, they they were the first ones of the season that were jumpers. They ended up being jumpers, um, and. They kind of just had a one line down the middle, and you couldn't get out of that line, and, and it was like your back end was kind of constantly bouncing. Like, it kind of veed out in the middle, and it was kind of just like that constantly. I had some uh, sketchy moments in them for sure, but I think everybody did. It was They were de they were definitely the toughest part to, to be consistent at. Um, some of the rhythms were hard to do late in the moto with how rutted it was and just um, all the stuff, but that the whoops were tough. Looking forward to Daytona? Yeah, it should be good. I've, I haven't raced Daytona yet. This is my, I mean, last last year I did West, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Thanks. Yeah, hopefully make it three.